Today we'll be adding plaster to your characters. The first thing you'll do is cover the entire table with newspaper and the place where the plaster is going to be. Our plaster is in the box like this and you'll pull out just a chunk and cut off what you need. We'll be using there's a set of plaster scissors. Okay and something about like this I have one already right here to get you started. The plaster every time you cut it it kind of becomes powder so that's why we're going to cover the tables and when we're done we're going to roll it up like subway sandwich so that we don't get any of the crumbs anywhere they're really hard to wash off it takes about six or seven washes to be able to wash the tables and at that rate and with all the plaster we'll be using the tables will be dirty till the end of the semester so we're going to try to keep it cleaned up the tubs for water we're going to be using are the white ones and they already have plaster in them um, these are from previous times. This plaster we don't want to go down the sink because it'll clog our drains. So what you'll do is you'll fill your water and go ahead and use it. I'm going to show you how. And when we're done, you're going to sift off the water, leave the plaster in the bottom, and that will eventually dry. And we'll throw that in the trash. We have a couple that have some dried pieces in there, so we would just bang that in the trash, throw it out and then they're ready to use. When you're done, it'll be kind of wet like that if you can see that, and that's okay, we'll just let it dry out. So I have my water. I'm just using a lukewarm today. It doesn't really matter which temperature you're using. So I have my character. I'm gonna start with the plaster down at the bottom. This will help for support, because as this dries, the plaster's kind of heavy, so if you start it in the middle, sometimes characters kind of go like this, or the wire could even break because of that. So make sure you're starting at the bottom. I have, let's see, I'm gonna cut a little strip. And I'm gonna measure about what I need. So I'm just gonna check around here. I want it to overlap slightly. Plaster sticks really well to itself. So I'm just gonna have this little bit. I'm gonna stick it in the water. And I'm gonna kind of massage the plaster till it turns pasty that activates the plaster. I'm gonna to try to carefully wrap it around. This does fold over pretty easily, so if your pieces are really big, they're kind of hard to handle. I'm gonna smooth it out. You wanna make sure to go clear to the bottom, like I said, try not to leave a gap. If you left a little gap, maybe just add a little bit on there. And then the next piece is about the right size, so I'm gonna add it on top of this. I wanna make sure it does overlap. Don't leave gaps with the plaster, especially between like legs and arms and the body. Um, they can, like pieces I've seen, slide right off. So always make sure <clears throat> to smooth it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Smooth it out right there. And then anytime you have a limb, be sure there's a strip that's attached to the rest of it so it doesn't fall off. So I'm gonna keep going over it. I'm gonna do this leg, and I started this one earlier. If you need to do like little shoes, you can take a strip of plaster and wad that up. So I'm gonna show you that now. Sometimes this works. If you have great big shoes or something pretty distinct, this might not be your solution that you wanna use. But I'm still going to make sure that gets all pasty. I'm going to wrap this around and kind of just ball it up in front. It'll stick to the wood and everything else if you want it to, and then kind of wrap it around the back, make it like a sandal. And if you want to build that up, you can. If you have wire sticking out, I have a little one here. I might cut it off and then cover it again. Smooth it out as much as you can. That'll make the next steps a lot easier. It's easier to smooth out when it's wet. We will sand on these a little bit, but if you can get that smoothed out, that's super helpful. You can plaster directly to wire on here, that's fine. You do want your newspaper to be pretty packed in, so like his body's pretty tight. The plaster will take the shape of whatever's there, so if it's a lumpy newspaper, you'll get a lumpy character. 
you can add appendages if you have like if you want to add cheekbones and things like that you can take a little tiny piece of plaster wad it up and then put like another strip over top like a bandage and that works pretty well I'm trying to get his legs pretty smooth this one the newspaper was lumpy underneath and we didn't smooth it out so it's lumpy when it dries this will be really hard when it dries if you get a little bit like this you can just, um, after it dries, put another piece of um, plaster underneath there, and that should help it out. Sometimes that happens. We'll be adding lots of detail to this. You will be painting them. So just really work with it, make it as smooth as possible, like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and keep finishing this up to about the middle for now. Try not to get any, I just splashed on here, try not to get any unused stuff wet. I'm gonna hurry up and use it. If it dries like that, nobody can use it. So kind of be careful with the pieces that you have. <clears throat> When you get around to like rounder pieces, like the head of your character or other things like that, <clears throat> you might need to use um, skinnier pieces because it'll be easier to form a circular shape. But if you're having trouble, just let me know and I can come and help you out. 